Hello guys, this is Peter from Build of Boeing. I'm doing a bit of progress on my throttle and uh, just like to show you some of the things that I've considered. They might be of help to you. First of all, I was so lucky the other day to have a real Boeing 737 throttle in my hands. And one of the things that I learned there was um, I've made a mistake with my reverser handles. On the real Boeing 737, uh, the reverser handle is of course far more complex than what I've, what I've had here. But the way, the way they work is that they are locked when the handle isn't in idle. So you have to put the handle down to idle. Then you can pull it halfway up. This um, moves a mechanism that activates or arms the, uh, the reverse thrust. And then from here, halfway up and the rest of the way up, you can apply th reverse thrust. But from halfway up and down, there is nothing going on regarding applying thrust. It's just arming the reverser. Furthermore, on my handles here, I have some rubber band inside so that when I release it, they automatically go down. This is not how it is on the real 737 either. When you release the handle, it holds the position. Okay, so, but on the other hand, this is made out of plastic and wood and uh, is semi-realistic. I'm not going to change it. That's what you can hear me say. Down here I have my fuel cutoff and um, one thing I'd like to show you here is it's, it's a fairly simple mechanism. I mean you just pull it here and move it and release it. Very simple. But what you might be able to see is that the micro switches is actually not uh, touching the, the lever, the, the bar here, but is instead it's uh, activated by these spacers on the nuts here. And the reason for that is that I was actually, or I am unsure if when I move the handle up here to engage it, if it is turned on now or when I release the handle here. So I've made it so that uh, it's not activated until I release the handle. And that's why I use these instead of use of having the micro switch at the, the lever. Furthermore, I have uh, two, I have of course a wire down here, and then I have two wires up here. And uh, again, because I am not sure if this should be activated when I release the handle here, if this should cut off the fuel, fuel on, fuel off, or if it's fuel on, and then it goes all the way down here, and this is fuel off. So I need to figure that out. And until I do that, um, I have three wires so I can just connect or interface the correct wire. I need to turn this part around tomorrow. I'd just like to show you. That's why you can see the handles on our, our mirrors here. I'm turning this one around tomorrow. I'd just like to show you what I've done down here uh, as well. This is just, uh, the, here you see two pieces of metal and um, behind here you see a servo. And so when I move my handle, you can hear the servo move a bit. There. And so this one just acts as a, this arm acts as a spacer, it just um, moves the, uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Anyway, this one that goes down here is where you adjust the length uh, the further down you go, the less the servo has to move, and the further up here you go, the more the servo has to move when you move the handle. So, you can see here, it's a fairly simple mechanism. Servos are from eBay, they're called MG995, and it was around seven, eight dollars, I think. Very simple. Um, but the plan is to have them. Uh, Activated so that um, I can have the handles move by themselves like this Right That hopefully it's going to be nice. It's not very precise, but it's, it's okay for like $15 for, for two that's that's fine by me right now up here. I have I don't know what this is called. It's from Ikea It's uh, the thing you put under your furniture so it doesn't scratch just the floor uh, Fairly simple, but it gives a good when you put the handle down to idle here, it gives a softness when you when you hit the idle position. And I'm going to put a, a nut, 
uh, bolt on here that applies pressure to these two, one up here, one down here, one up here, so that the handle is a bit harder to move. The servo here, furthermore, also makes it harder to move. The last thing I'd like to show you is on the other side, the opposite side here. I haven't finished on the on the, the other side. It's down here. Okay, so this is what it's supposed to look like when, when I'm finished. And you have the servo here. Now it's turned around, as you can see. But when I move the handle, you can see there there's a potentiometer, sliding potentiometer. And this arm here then moves it when I move the handle and gives the position of the throttle to person. So that's um, what I've accomplished so far. This is Peter from Builder Burn. You guys take care. Bye-bye.